Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. If you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. So it is bye bye to my tiered worm bin. As you can see, I removed the upper section, so just the lower section is left. The upper section has now become a raised bed. So I managed to fit it into a little corner of the garden here. So now my garden is extended. I have a little bit of work to do on it because in the process of removing it, one of the board fell off and I need to support the middle section here so that it is not when the lumber sorry when the soil goes in here it's going to want to push it out so I'm gonna to have to put a cross piece in here which is what that is going to be and then the, I have the task of filling this raised bed not sure where I'm going to get all the materials I need yet I know that initially I'm going to be putting some what's this thing called um, <laughs> oh, forgive the old brain yes some wood chips in the bottom and then I'm going to be putting leaves in the bottom and then I'm gonna add some compost and some soil so it's gonna take a lot of material to fill it but before I can do that because it was a worm bin it's made with space between the lumbers so now I'm going to have to line the entire interior of this bin so that the soil won't fall out. So that's going to be one of my next project. Now I'm wondering what should I do with this bin? Because when I removed the upper portion, I was thinking of probably using this, continue using this as a worm bin and then use the upper portion as a raised bed. It's look a little bit untidy in here because I have a lot of leaves because I'm prepping this as a worm bin for the next growing season when I bring my worms outdoors. But then because it is underneath the tree and a lot of chips would um, a lot of sticks tend to fall into my worm bin and I don't want the sticks in there so that is why you see me using that whole carpet to cover up the material so that I don't end up with a lot of sticks in the bin especially if I'm going to be using it as a worm bin so I'm wondering because the tree has all of its leaves on it and I'm noticing that after removing the upper tier this section here is getting quite a lot of sunlight so I'm wondering should I turn this into another raised bed and then this could be because it is underneath the tree to an extent then it could become the area where I plant my cool weather crop so I'm wondering if I should do that and then what would happen is because I have three compost bins I'm thinking of using just putting all the worms in the compost bin instead of having a compost bin separated from the worm bin I wouldn't put the worms in all of my compost bins but at least one or two of them would have all my worms outdoors and then this could become another raised bed and then I'll have a larger garden my worms will have the chance to be outdoors and it would be a win-win situation so I guess I will figure that out as time goes by so I'm currently working on cleaning doing some cleanup and then I need to go and collect some compost so if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more please take a moment to give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the section below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day yeah man time for growth